We're used to city streets scarred by potholes and patches, but there's a different situation on the southeast side that has residents concerned tonight. A deep hole developing at 136th and Brainerd in Hegwish. CBS 2's Roseanne Teus takes a closer look at the sinking street in this original report. Watch the trucks and cars on this busy stretch of Brainerd Avenue, and it just looks like a dip in the road. But take a closer look. This manhole cover is surrounded by two holes and cracks in the pavement, and the street is sinking. I'm not an engineer or anything, but I don't think I should be able to look in a hole and see down under. Sean Duck uh, so first spotted it last off. summer and notified 10th Ward Alderman John Pope. She posted pictures on Facebook of temporary repairs made just a few weeks ago, blocks of wood stuck in the holes, but today we found one of them across the street. The alderman's office says it's now in the hands of the water department. I know it's there, but for people who don't know, who aren't aware, especially the trucks, I just think it's an accident waiting to happen. We've seen a lot of trucks go by. Correct, an awful lot of trucks. And they go, you've, we've seen them, they've gone right over the, right over the damaged part. While the holes aren't that big, they are deep. This stick is about three and a half feet long and it's easily swallowed up. It may conjure up images of this giant hole that swallowed several cars also in the 10th Ward last April. That was blamed on leaks and old pipes underground. Well, this doesn't compare in size. Duck worries someone could get hurt if it's not addressed. I just don't want anything to happen to anybody. Now, we contacted the city water department and they said since our visit this afternoon that they had barricaded the area and were sending a crew as soon as possible. We had someone check there at the site. It's not there yet. No barricades yet. But what they do call this is a collapsed manhole. It's due to the nasty freeze-thaw cycle, the same thing that causes potholes, and they do expect to see a lot more of them. So if you see something like this, the city water department says you should call 311. Live in the newsroom, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.